Alrighty, um, we're going rapid fire day on these videos. This one is going to be on Mod Engine 2 and how that works for Elden Ring. Um, first off, you'll just want to download that. There will be a link for this in the description. You can also get it from the tools and resources page on the Souls Modding Discord. Um, once it's downloaded and extracted, you can go ahead and just open it up here. Um, what you've got going on here is a couple of batch files, a launcher, a mod folder. Um, this mod folder is going to be your, you should set this to be your output for any param editing you did. I just uploaded a video on how to get those set up um, and I actually put the mod folder inside of the game directory. You don't actually have to do that with this one. Um, this game, this mod engine will launch your mods and your game standalone through, through the mod engine itself. So any mods you have place right in here uh, inside of the mod engine directory, not the game directory. Um, there are a few things to note with it in the readme. We'll just take a look here. Um, obviously it's that mod engine 2 is standalone with a custom launcher and doesn't have to be installed in your game directory like I just mentioned. Um, you can launch directly through the Elden Ring dot bat or batch file right here uh, and it will disable the anti-cheat um, by default if you launch through those means. One of the things though that uh, with this new mod engine, it's still not completely fleshed out. It's new, it was rebuilt from the ground up for Elden Ring. So there may be some features um, that you are used to with old mod engines that might not be in this. Um, they, they are working on stuff, but it's a process and I'm just telling you this information. I don't have any sway over what happens or how it happens. I'm just conveying that to you. Um, so in my mod folder, I have a single edit to a spirit summon in Elden Ring uh, created here. So what I'm gonna do to show you how it works is I'm gonna go ahead and click the launch mod Elden Ring batch file here. I'm just gonna double click it. It'll get you get you loaded up here. I'm gonna just hang. Okay, so we are loaded into the game here um, on this new character. I have the Fanged Imp Ashes, which are the ones that I altered slightly, um, just to kind of like see how Mod Engine works, and then also kind of paves the way for looking into making tutorials on altering um, summons and things like that. So we're gonna go in here and I am going to use it. So let's see here. Instead of two fanged imp ashes, imp ashes, we've got one wolf and one imp. So I changed one of the imps into a wolf effectively. Uh, yeah, oh, they're, they're going off there, all right. So anyways, that is just a very rough, um, showing of that's how mod engine works for Elden Ring here. Um, if you have any questions or anything, I will try to answer or dive into it. You're also always welcome in the um, server name modding discord community. So hopefully that was um, a benefit and help to you guys. And I will continue trying to crank out some more stuff. So. Take it easy, fellas.